Hi, Leos. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's Shani with Healing Elements. What up, guys? It is time for your March 2020 reading out of these amazing energy oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. And then I'll pull a message from my self-made DIY oracle set, the Woven Dreams and Blessings deck. So guys, it is Pisces season. I filmed this on the 7th of March. We have a full moon tomorrow, the 8th of March, which is pretty powerful. So I feel like even if you don't see this, um, you feel the effects still off of full moons. You know, I feel like the energy permeates before and after. So I feel like you'll be feeling this for a while. This is full moon in, you know, the sun is in Pisces, moon will be in Virgo. And so we have a lot of kind of ancient wisdom, oracle type of behind the veil, ancestry type of shaman type of spirit guide energy coming through, um, you know, that of which is the maiden, the mother, the crone energy, like Virgos and the down to earth nurturing and, you know, absolute sensitivity to care for the practical and the things that we do, the cause and effect, tangible actions that we take on each other and on the earth, especially. And then we have the, you know, the spiritual Neptunian vibe, Sun in Pisces, where we understand, oops, that one to shoot out and give this as a bonus, where we understand that it takes tangible, practical, methodical work, as well as leap of faith and a little bit of magic and intuitive willpower of willing things, of putting intent out there, manifesting through the universe in order to receive things. So it's a blending of both. So it's going to be profound. I feel like with, you know, um, a lot of the energy is going down in Mercury retrograde. It is going to be very indicative of both, you know, bouncing from the tangible thought process of mindfulness and then to the emotional mindset of, you know, revisiting anything that we had in the past that was particularly of that dreamy Neptunian kind of maybe ethereal, um, what you thought was maybe a delusion, maybe you could become a reality if what you thought was a reality may become a delusion, kind of that kind of sticky energy. So you're your own, you know, you're your own captain or your own author in this life path book. So whatever that means to you, whatever is going to go down, whatever you're going to have shown to you personally, um, you know, if it presents itself and you get something out of it, beautiful. I hope that it is and what I really feel it will be something that will benefit you positively, Leo. So four cards, one, two, three, four. Oh, sweet. I actually saw one of your cards that just came out and it was the sun card. So perfect for Leo's, right? So first card, your bonus is 53, the magician and the mirror. Interesting. So guys, as we know, when we talk about, you know, when we talk about the way people treat each other, let's go with that first. We always say that, you know, the negative and positive vibrations and kind of intent and things that we say positive and negatively to other people are like a reflection of our internal self. It's like we're looking at a mirror. So when we project positivity and light, that is something that is in us, within us, and we're wanting to give it away. And when we give to positive people, we see the reaction or we see the effect of help and healthy, you know, loving energy that it, ex you know, exudes, then we know that that is somewhere within us. So that's why a lot of people who are angry, resentful, hateful people maybe have been raised um, as an ab abused child and then just never really um, were in a place or, you know, shown anything to encourage them to do otherwise, they will go around and because they only have hate and resentful feelings or you know, um, just some nasty feelings within them. They even, I feel by not any choice of their own, they don't know any better. They are only able to project what is within them because when they look at other people, it's like the magician in the mirror, they are seeing themselves when they project that hatred and negativity outward, it is showing you what is within them. So the magician in the mirror is just talking about the magical transformation that we can make when we realize this truth of knowing that, you know, everything that we do is both a reflection and also a projection of energy that is going to permeate 
and can create cause and effect too with karmic laws, right? So any choice that we have throughout Leo's, throughout this time period or whenever you happen to listen to this or your whole entire life, whatever chance that you have to, you know, show somebody what is in you, I feel like we always should have in the mindset that we are a magician and we are a mirror. So we can be represented more and more within our own heart and build up more and more positive affirmations and good energy and just, you know, a really, really energetic flow that is self-soothing and healthy if we practice constantly projecting that which is positive within us outward because I feel it accumulates more and more and you will get that back as a reflection and it is almost like a light to a mirror. It's going to burn in a good way. It's going to burn down any kind of, you know, um, toxic waste that was inside that didn't need to be projected. That's the way that I like to think about it, but you are the magician and the mirror as well. in one number 20. Interesting. I think Taurus got this. Taurus or Gemini? Um, Gemini, I can't remember, but this is the card of envy. So number 20, I always speak on the fact that Leo seem to get a lot of jealousy and envy, you know, their way because they are fierce. You guys are prideful. You guys are bold and confident. Even if when you have insecurities that don't, you know, show on the outside to very many I feel like you are the envy of many people due to the fact that you are able to stay within your lane and carry yourself with this love that, you know, cannot be depleted. Even if you are in, you know, these stages of questioning things or questioning people's feelings or questioning, you know, your purpose or your intentions, you always do keep that heart chakra like radiance about you. Like, you know, you're never going to, um, be defeated. That's why it's interesting when Leos are vulnerable, it is beautiful to talk to them because they have a vulnerability and they're able to showcase this. But you guys show this in such a loving manner where it's not phony and you're showing this that like, hey, you know, this hurts so much that these haters or my relationship, um, you know, did this to me. However, I still know that my heart is pure and it's shining and I'm good. And I feel like people will envy that and perhaps project this envy outwardly right toward you and try to gaslight and, and try to show you um, things and, and flaws within your or their perceived flaws within your personality and so you have to just remember leos that um anything that is being shown to you you know and it seems like envy it is envy and it is because they have a lack within them of that quality in which they're envious of. And I feel like that is definitely about your um, ability to stay positive, stay confident, stay um, of a loving, pure heart, even when jaded and even when people are shitty, you're like, look, you can't make me hate you because you're a narcissist and you're my ex person and you've done this and that or you cheated. I'm never going to be the same and you can't make me. And I feel like people will get envious, including that ex-partner over that. Number 13, interesting. Financial constraints. Another sign got this, I believe, cancer. So if you are feeling any kind of financial constraints at this time, I know that it is, you know, the beginning of the year. I know a lot of people have to pay taxes. I know a lot of people get tax returns, but it is all about, right, until April 15th, about financial constraints. Maybe you're pissed off because you did your taxes and you're like, why don't I get this credit? I'm in a different tax bracket. Maybe you can't claim somebody on their tax return. Maybe somebody like child custody is trying to claim something that is rightfully yours. Anything that is um, of worry financially, blessings to you. I hope that it works out. I feel like it is going to due to the next card that came. And this is also, I believe in this deck reminds me completely of Leo. It is your card. Number one, the sun. I'm talking about, you know, just like in traditional tarot, utter jubilance. You know, you see the refreshing feelings of playing in water, but still having the sun to warm you. So it is a contentment. It is a happiness. It's a positive. It's a yes card. So any financial worries that you have, I feel like you're going to um, not be worried very, very soon, you know, and it's not going to be a plugging type of role or a scenario. Um, I feel like, you know, you guys have that sense right now of, you know, um, confidence that anything that you're getting negatively, including any kind of like envy or 
um, projected negative, like jealous type of stuff. Um, you realize this right here. You realize the magician in the mirror. You realize the fact that this is simply just a projection of their own, you know, unfortunate, insecure, you know, depletions or deficits, you know, or voids that they are trying to fill. And for some reason, you know, some people just do not want to understand that it is never going to be filled it's only going to dig the hole deeper make the void wider by trying to derive that sense of jubilance and happiness based on somebody else's suffering or you making someone else feel that they're not as happy as they are leos you realize this you realize that you always 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 <clears throat> have yourself to bring back these jubilant emotions you can literally walk out of a toxic situation and realize after doing whatever it is to, you do to center yourself, Starbucks coffee, meditation, whatever it is, um, painting, I don't know what it is, but you are able to realize that you yourself are, you know, the only one that can look, you know, at yourself in the mirror, tell yourself some positive things and know that that is from you and reflected back on you and that you can't count. Unfortunately, you can't count on you know, people on the outside front to deliver, you know, everything to you. Cause what if you're surrounded by people who are only going to deliver negative feedback, right? It is imperative to understand that we are the magician. We are the mirror. We hold everything within ourselves and we can project our own aura just like you guys do. When people are envious, just continue to be you, do you project that beauty out into the world. So number 48, they, oh, interesting believe cancer got this at their end as a bonus. So angel of balance, Leo's, this is um, a message to you or confirmation and affirmation, appreciating the fact you do this is the key to getting through any kind of turmoil or emotional, you know, discrepancies or just things that come up where people tell you they're envious or you can see that within them, you know, they're reflecting or projecting this, you know, you're worried about finances. It's trying to, you know, Send a message to you guys from spirit to find a balance within the worry and not, you know, um, addressing it at all. Finding a balance between, you know, being jubilant and perhaps you are envious of maybe Leo's you caught yourself with this Mercury retrograde feeling old patterns of, you know, um, I guess, Patterns of, you know, the past that you perhaps used to be instead of putting your energy into being content and happy with what other people's get. Maybe in the past you have been envious over, you know, someone who you felt wasn't deserving in your family. Maybe they were like, you know, not living their best life and they got given these gifts or generosity was paid to them and you in the past were envious and you're past that. Now you understand that does no good. However, maybe, you know, because Mercury retrograde or whatnot, we're revisiting and reviewing any kind of, you know, anything that can come up, suppressed emotions or just feel feelings and things that we've dealt with. So perhaps this has come up and you reset already and it's just reminding you, yep, that's all, that's all it is, the ebb and flow of balance, just getting, you know, the balance to a point where it's, it's not a deliberation that you are in alignment. You're in understanding that it takes a blend of both getting to that place where you were envious and catching yourself long ago, feeling those patterns. It, it took that for you to actually experience that for you to recognize this being done to you by other people now. And you know, the angel of balance, you've been able to balance out all of these experiences in the past and all of these situations and kind of really reflect upon it and be like, yeah, Yep, that's going to happen. So I might as well not, you know, depend on the outside sources for criticism or compliments. They say, I put a thing the other day. They say, if you, Leo's, if you live by compliments, you will die by critique. I love that one. So just always live by your own compliments, which are so beautiful at doing Leo's. I love you to death. Let's get you your woven dreams and blessings message. This is my, again, my self-made Oracle card deck. 
get you a message and I wish you a blessing of a Pisces rest of Pisces season and health of course staying healthy and using hand sanitizer and getting through all the anxieties and really uh, serious stuff especially if you work in the medical community doctors and health providers um, the coronavirus is very very uh, big problem and something that a lot of people are having to implement you know a lot of work toward and getting um, supplies and tests and just everything going into it so blessings to you if you're one of those okay beautiful leos this is gorgeous divine feminine wisdom is the card that you got divine feminine wisdom tap into the nurturing all-knowing fierce fertile productive unapologetic authentic free independent and attractive energy of the divine feminine untapped power this untapped power awaits you gorgeous guys that's a gorgeous message absolutely i know that we all could use some nurturing right we could use some uh an apologetic energy thrown our way and into the universe that is you know authentic and productive fierce but all-knowing and divine it's you know attractive and it is fertile it wants to give birth not destroy right so blessings love and light leos for everything you are i hope you have again healthy and happy rest of the march um month and everything else in between guys bye, -bye.